Thank you. Okay, I can see Jess, Christina, Mariani, Lim, Nusaipa. Okay, I'll, I'll have a look at the participants list now. Right, quite a number of us, yeah? Mm, okay, I can see Dr. Akmarina, Dr. Arif, Dr. Hong. Tak angkat tangan eh, so uh, Dr. Wafa, Dr. Muhammad Hussein. Okay, so the question is, if is this your first time, yeah, who among you um, is joining this kind of book writing workshop for the first time? So I just like to um, have a, um, some gauge, um, the experience you had before this in joining such uh, book writing workshop. So if this is your first time, uh, angkat tangan. So kita, and then you can, everyone can check on the participants list on the site. You can click on can click on the participants. There's 19 of us in this room right now. Yeah, and you can see who among us young first time joined this kind of writing workshop. So yeah, most of us are new. Most of you. Okay, this is my second time because last time I conducted this first time, my in my entire life, first time juga. So I have some experience right now. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. So it looks like we are all. Newbies, yeah. So we try to learn from each other. Thank you for raising your hands. We can penat dah angkat tangan, boleh letak tangan bawah. Thank you. All right. Um, okay. I put down the objective and the agenda for today on the chat section as well. So what we are going to achieve by the end of this workshop, I hope it will not run until five o'clock, but as a group, you may have to um, do some little homework and we try to uh, put a cutoff of five o'clock if possible. If you need more time, just uh, let us know. Okay, so by right. Okay, background information. All of us, all of you here are writers of book chapter according to the grand theme digital challenge. And it reflects the digital challenge that we as lecturers have adopted and, and, and tackled and um, innovate throughout the COVID-19 pandemic for our teaching and learning, basically. So we have gathered 29 book chapters, right, from all of you. Um, I will show in a while a summary page. Maybe I can get the secretariat to share the... I, I, I actually I can do it. Hang on, eh? um, the summary, I'll show you this one. Okay. Okay, so this is a chapter compilation that we have, right? So basically we have 20. Can you see my screen, eh? 29, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, 29 uh, book chapter contributions. All right. Um, if I can request the secretariat to copy and paste this link on the chat section while I'm um, sharing. Okay, so we have done a quick editorial review. Um, we compiled the first author's names, the title, bilangan page, yeah, page number. Not your susunan in the page, not, not your where your page goes, but the number of pages of your book chapter. And then we have some notes, and then we had a checklist whether you have an abstract and your edit layout is okay. Right? Um, the red colored ones show that you, your, the number of pages are in the outlier. For example, Dr. Sharifah Huda and Dr. Hafiz Saleh, 31 pages uh, and some of us uh, 15 pages 13 pages Dr. Izian, Dr. Nash 15 pages 19 pages yeah so um, Dr. Akamarina 11 okay so we want to try to um, minimize the deviation so um, we'll decide on this I did a mean calculation it's about 18.8 .8, meaning the mean or the average number of uh, pages is 18 19 pages Right, so if we can agree 
later we agree together what is the nice number of pages that we want uh, so that uh, we don't get too short of a chapter and too long of a chapter okay um okay and then we have some references right uh, notes about references mainly about references and um uh, citations okay and then some some questions there okay so so this is the state that we are right now okay, i'm going to stop sharing now okay and close my participants list all right and um what we are going to achieve by the end of this workshop is to finalize the book sections and content of the sections so basically when you look at the um okay let me just put back i hope you can uh, i i will need the help of the secretariat to share otherwise uh, because everybody's not included there um, uh, just a file not sharing of the digital chapter it, not not this file not sharing of the of the drive file just a cop make a copy so that people can't um edit yeah all right thank oh yeah it included okay thank you so much thank you so much to the secretariat yeah so you at least you have a an idea and you can see the titles of your friends our colleagues who who wrote similar kind of titles with us so that will show that perhaps you belong in the same section okay all right so um the idea is when we get a book that is like this not a book by a single author yeah? a book an edited book like this we want to send it to uh first right of rejection is you impress when you impress has a very good reputation and and credibility so we want to send to the empress first right if not we will try other university publishers that is acknowledged in uh, what do you call it mapim eh? yeah so that we we so that it it counts lah in our myra score and and for our own careers yeah and it it somehow um have that uh, standard that that um uh criteria and the standards are taken care of okay so that's so when we have a book like this because there are so many chapters of different stories or different contents we want to group them together so if you if you imagine a book that um has a theme like digital challenge maybe we need to decide another name another title for this you have section section 1 challenge in terms of what section 2 se challenge in terms of what section 3 mungkin um um innovation in terms of what you know that kind of thing so the similar looking or similar kind of content will sit inside similar section right so that's number one we want to know who what are the sections and who are the chapter authors that sit inside that section so this is what we're going to do today this morning right second one is your each once we have decided on the section and the content the 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 the, the chapter content authors of that uh, section each of you will go into that breakout room okay and try to consolidate the content of the chapters so now you imagine halfway through you already be in the same group that your chapter is so you know that your content is about for example uh, challenges in terms of practical courses for example so you may be able to is yes, uh, objective number 2 come up with a graphical abstract like figure for each section so the idea is when we open the book okay, imagine the book cover eh? you open the book cover and you have the um everything on enrichment and index and list uh table of content so section 1 when you go to section 1 you are first introduced by a graphical abstract of that section the graphical abstract will tell you will tell the reader what to expect and what are the main points of that whole chapter maybe the whole section consists of five chapters so this graphical abstract 
will represent what are the five chapters and how they are linked together, what is the main point of that section. For example, um, the section is called uh, Challenges in Replacing Online Face-to-Face, -face, uh, sorry, Challenges in uh, Replacing Face-to-Face -face Lecture. Traditionally, it's done by lecture. It's, it's a lecture course. It's a lecture-based course. And all the lecture-based courses have this, have us uh, sit inside the same section. So what does the section, what is the summary of that section reflected by the graphical abstract? So we don't want another write-up because we have enough write-ups in, in the chapters, yeah? So um, what we want is to have the cover of the section. Section one, challenges, Da, 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 da. Next page is a graphical abstract first that con concisely summarize main points of the, the take home message of that section. And then baru you get chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. So when people go into each chapter, it makes sense from the first uh, figure or the graphical abstract of that section. Okay, so that is the the challenge that's the difficult bit because um we are, we want to um summarize we want to fit our work into um the bigger picture in the end okay myself and dr farah as the editor co-editor we will take all this graphical abstract and come up with in the for the introduction of the book as like a model or a representative um, summary of the whole book. So maybe we get another layer of message. What is it about digital challenge in teaching and learning? And, um, you know, um, what is the new kind of bigger picture message that we want to deliver? Okay, so that's the two objectives that we want to achieve by the end of this workshop, all right? So um, the agenda, um, we'll have a short explanation of chapter by each author. And then we try to dis discuss and decide on the sections, okay? And then do the grouping. Go to the grouping, do your objective number two, which is the graphical-like, um, graphical abstract like figure in the breakout rooms and then uh, you don't need to do a nice fancy one we are not necessarily artists we have an in-house artist to help design and make it cohesive among all but at least we need we need the draft from you and uh, this one we have the 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 illustrator to do it uh, but we need the content, the draft uh, from all of you by the end of this workshop or if it makes sense to have another week to submit it. Depends on how we are going. Is that okay? So I'll stop here for a while. Um, I'll take questions or any uh, comments from uh, the participants. Yes, yeah, Dr. Christina? Good morning, uh, Dr. Azza. Yeah. Can I just ask, yes. um, regarding the content of the uh, book, right, the book chapter, as you have explained today, uh, it's more clear about the objective of the, uh, the book, you know, etc. How much of the content can be changed, you know, today after listening to your explanation about the objective? Okay. Yeah. yeah, we haven't submitted this to anyone yet. Thank you, Dr. Christina, for your question. We haven't submitted this to anyone yet. And if you feel that you need to change the content, um, you can, as long as from today's discussion, you have agreed on some sort of content with the group members, as long as it doesn't go too far from that. Maybe the change is to, to, to make it assimilate better, then, then we, we, we welcome, we more than welcome it. Um, okay, uh, a note about the content. We will send this for um, I, uh, publishing, right? So um, be aware of, I think I've mentioned this before, be aware of um, if you are 
writing a journal paper, be aware not to include that content in this book. Be aware of self plagiarism, potential self plagiarism. Okay, this is for all, eh? not for Dr. Christina. Je. Just just teringat je this point. If you want um, any of the content to be for the journal, asingkan siap siap. Uh, please don't 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 have the same content for your journal paper and the book chapter. Just just a little note from here while I remember that. Uh, thank you, Prof. Azza. One more question before I leave you there. Sorry. So, uh, the, the content of the book doesn't have to come from the results of the grant, yeah? Yes. If you want, it, if you want the results of the grant, the, technic, the more statistical, technical, met, I mean, the results to go to the journal paper, save it for that. Save it for the journal paper. This can be maybe your intro part, the, the, the discussion part, the, the thought process. Method maybe, you know, how did you come up with the method or a, a discussion um, discussion point? Yeah, it's it's okay. Asalkan tidak sama dengan whatever public other publication ISI that you want to submit. Because we want to okay. prioritize those, the technical ones for the journal articles, I imagine, yourself too? Yeah, sure. Thank you so much, Prof. Thank you. You're brilliant. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. So yes, you are more than welcome to change the content because we still have room for uh, page number edits. Remember uh, the, the figure, the, the Excel file I showed earlier? Uh, I think Linda also have shared that on the chat section, the link. Page number, still a high variation. So by changing the content, perhaps you can add on more or reduce the content of your, you need to rewrite a little bit. So um, let's decide together a new deadline, hopefully not too long, hopefully not too long, too long for the final version of the chapter and also um, the date of submission to UM Press. Is that okay? Any other questions um, from the audience, from the participants? Okay, shall we start with our first agenda explanation of chapter by each author. Um, is that okay? Shall we start with that? Any volunteers? Okay. Um, let's together open the Google Doc document that Linda has shared on the chat section. We will look at that together so that you can make your own remark about your colleagues' content that may be similar to yours, that maybe you... you, you um, belief can match into the same section, just uh, your own note. Yeah? Okay, you can copy paste or you can edit here, but don't catch out the, 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 the columns that we have uh, <laughs> written. Yeah? Um, any changes for this table, please um, email it to us uh, formally so that we know what changes are required. The, the, the column on HIJ, if you're not, not chanting, chanting, sila lah chanting. Okay. But um, uh, A to G, please try not to um, amend. Yeah. All right. I welcome the first one, Dr. Aida. Ada tak? Kalau Dr. Aida tak ada, Dr. Yunis, Digital Dentistry, are we there yet? Or shall we go with Val Hello. Hi, Dr. Hello, Yunis. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Hi, uh, I will give a, a very a brief intro uh, of my chapter. So our chapter is uh, focusing on digital dentistry. So we talk about the transition from the normal uh, conventional teaching to digital dentistry. And our focus is on uh, the postgraduate um, training of uh, lateral cephalometric tracing. Basically, it's a, a radiograph we trace for treatment planning and everything. So we compare the uh, conventional uh, type of um, tracing and also the digital type. And we also talk about the student's perception. Thank you so much, Dr. Yunis. So basically, it's a practical course. Can we say that it's a essentially it's a practical? or Yes, it is a practical course. Okay, so let's note that as a practical course. Um, any other practical course chapters may be grouped together with Dr. Eunice. All right, okay, let's go um, that way. 
if any volunteer that feel that uh, their chapter fits with the theme that Dr. Yunis' chapter is uh, converting traditional practical into online practical. Anybody? Hi, okay, Dr. Tunku, silakan. Uh, would you like to share the, the summary of your work, Dr. Tunku? All right, uh, I think, uh, can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear. Dr. Tunku, uh, uh, number 23, eh? introduction to pediatric dentistry e-portfolio. Eh? I'm not sure why, uh, okay. Oh my computer is okay. I think uh, my chapter basically uh, on pediatric den pediatric dentistry uh, training on oper clinical operative training for the undergrad students, the year three. Uh, this is the introduction for them before they can start treating patients. So before this, traditionally, all uh, even the demos for the demonstration are conducted on uh, are conducted face to face. But now it's like hybrid where all the demonstration we have a pre recorded video for them to watch before. And also we have come we have um, I think prepared some of the inform reading materials for them to to look through before they have the face to face session mm -hmm. where they need to see the video first that will be uploaded. I think uh one two one day before the uh, one day before the practical session they will watch and, and on the face to face session they will do all the practical uh face to face lah. and then the lecturer in charge will be there to clarify any doubt okay regarding the topic okay then post i think post uh once they have completed they will be having a session they will receive a feedback from the lecturer regarding their uh, work and then they also need to upload i think each of the steps so that they can keep trace if they done wrong what are the things they will do that is not incorporated in the traditional teaching method before. Lah. So we have demo. I, I hear the word demo. Yes, demo. Practical. I hear the word feedback there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Thank you, Dr. Tengku. Uh, right. Dr. Hong, you raise up your hand. Uh, hi, thank you. Thank you, Professor. I just wanted to um, say that the chapter that we have written, my colleagues and I have written, it rather have some uh, overlap as to what uh, uh, Dr. Yunis has presented earlier on, as well as uh, I think um, what was presented just uh, slightly earlier. So I'm um, not quite sure whether it would fit into the same group, but essentially uh, we are also talking about the challenges that uh, we have faced uh, converting the medical education delivery. So it includes the teaching and learning as well as the assessment. So Traditionally, the assessments are all done face-to-face -face, and because of the pandemic, uh, we, for everybody's safety, including students as well as the patients, it was converted to virtual clinical assessments. So uh, historically, this has never happened before and uh, this probably will overlap with what was presented earlier on. Yeah. Okay, let me just um, highlight. I think I hear the word assessment. I hear yeah. the word program. It's like uh, a program. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, we were talking mainly about the delivery of the entire MBBS program. Yeah, yeah. In general, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I actually have have drafted a a proposed section, mm -hmm. but only four. Mm -hmm. I don't want to share it yet until mm -hmm. until I hear. But I'm hearing how um you guys fit into my mm -hmm. my framework, but I'll share that in a while. Okay. okay. All right. Yours, uh, Doctor Hong is more on assessment and delivery as well as yeah. program level, which is quite different than Dr. Tengku and Dr. Yunis. It's uh, most... Very specific, yeah. 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 Okay. So, sure. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thanks. Um, any other volunteers? Okay. Uh, hello, uh, Dr. Azza. Yes, silakan. Hi, I am Stella. Uh, I think my chapter would fit to the Dr. Eunice one also because mine um, is talking about 
how to um, the difference between the multidisciplinary clinic from the conventional face to face to the live streaming. Mm. So basically, we are assessing uh, students' perceived satisfaction and also uh, the satisfaction and effectiveness of these two methods in uh, in having the multidisciplinary clinic. Okay. So Dr. Stella, from the short uh, description that you shared, I'm hearing um, students' perspective, which is similar like what Dr. Eunice also gathered. I think most of the students yes. have that element of, of students' feedback, how they like it, yeah? Yeah. And also the live streaming. Um, and it's still quite med. Is it a medical course? Yes. Yes. Uh, it's a dental course, yes. Yeah, a banyak group medical dentistry yang, yang um, in this tone of, of, of um, work. All right, Dr. Stella. So, okay. Um, just a mental note. Um, how many others, maybe we can see some sh uh, show of hands, that focus on practical course, specific skill or specific course that is practical in nature and you can you had to convert. Ah, Dr. Suba. Okay. Practical course, or with the, let's, let's call it skill. You want to train a particular skill or a particular, um, it's not content lah, so much. It's uh, how to do, the, the, the to do bit. Okay. Let's see some show of hands. How many of us participants are switch on my participant, is looking at a particular course or a particular skill of, or a particular how to do thing that your chapter address. Let's see some show of hands if you have enough of that. Okay, I'm seeing Dr. So, Dr. Christina, Dr. Wafa, Dr. Mariani. Four, yeah? Uh, Dr. Asma, sorry, can I ask? Yep, yep, yep. Uh, so I is in from uh, Faculty okay. of Pharmacy. Yes. So uh, my chapter is about um, testing on cognitive competency. Mm -hmm. So rather than, you know, final examination, face-to-face, -face, physical final examination. So we turn it into a remote OSCE. But this remote, is, remote OSCE is quite unique in a way that it, only test on cognitive skill, skill, and it is in a form of written communication rather than the traditional uh, verbal communication. Okay. So uh, I'm not sure how this fits. It can fit in um, from what you know, Dr. Stella, Dr. Tunku, or previous. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think so. When, uh, okay, all right. So <laughs> when you when you ask about the skills, so I'm not sure whether mine the hands-on skill uh, uh, Of course, I, with, all, with every hands-on with every hands-on skill, there must be some cognitive component yeah. in that that goes into it, right? right. Tapi uh, final outcome yang kita nak measure is the 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 ability to do something lah, kan? So mm. when the Isian shared earlier. What I'm hearing is it's more assessment of what's going on inside here. Yes, that's right. So it's not what's going on inside. Yeah, yeah it's what's not hands-on. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, thank you so much. That's clear. Thank so, you. Uh, okay. So saya rasa bukan. Okay, That's my personal you. opinion lah. Of course, you can, you can, uh, this, we can still discuss lah. Okay. Mm. Thanks, so, thanks, thank you. Hands-on, uh, particular, not program level. So kalau program level, I rasa dia dah kategori lain. Dia dah macam lebih big picture macam tu. Um, hands on, particular level, particular hands on skill, particular course. Dr. Wafa, you want to share? Then, uh, yeah, then I think mine tak fit kot because it's more on uh, diagnosis and treatment planning. Okay. So, then, yeah. So, so I, diagnosis and plan. Yes. Okay. So, let's let's focus on the skill, practical skills of it. Hmm? Okay, so Dr. Wafa boleh turun tangan dulu. So, let's see. We have about four, yeah? Okay. Okay, no worries. Okay, um, after hearing, let's try another team. Okay, so we kind of have this one team right now. Uh, practical skills and how do you address teaching and delivering and ensuring they are able to do that. 
Okay, and I'm hearing also assessment. How many of us, the chapter is focusing on assessment? Let's 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 give assessment a big a big um uh, general assessment first. Let's see how many, and then we can try uh, narrowkan lagi. Okay, assessment primarily your chapter is about assessment. Can I see some show of hands? Okay, Dr. Izian, Dr. Lim, Dr. Zul. Tiga, eh? Assessment. Okay, so we have three assessment. Dr. Lim and Dr. Zul, would you like to share the, con the uh, very short summary of your work? Uh, hi, Dr. Azam. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Okay, uh, MIND is actually a program of sports medicine. Mm -hmm. Where I develop mm -hmm. a, a, a digital, digitalized uh, work based assessment for our trainees. Mm -hmm. So it's not solely about the assessment, it's actually developing a, a platform uh, for work based assessment uh, in my students. Okay, I remember that chapter very well. Yeah. Thank you so much. So, Dr. Zul. Um, uh, assessment more of a program level assessment, betul eh? Betul, yeah, correct. Okay, program level assessment, okay. Uh, what about Dr. Lim tadi? Yep. Uh, hi, Dr. Azza. Hello. Yep, and everyone. Yep, so um, I give an overview of my, my chapter is like, um, it's more on the digital assessment. So the motivation behind is that like, um, when we bring the class online and then uh, we can have synchronous and asynchronous lessons. So my one is focused on the asynchronous part where um, we want to keep track like, okay, if we let the lessons to be delivered in asynchronous and how can we maintain the motivation or to keep track their progress. So here comes the, uh, the self-assessment for them. And then uh, we use um, open source of uh, self assessment, mm -hmm. uh, specifically the um, the carpet. and then um, from there we do some um, survey on how can this improve their or maintain their motivations in the learning, specifically for the asynchronous lessons. Mm -hmm. that, that's that's the main idea of this chapter. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Lim. I remember your 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 project. Um, did you manage to file the IP yet? Yeah, we are uh, um, sort of got the uh, drop out something already. So now um, the thing I need to finalize with the rest of the KPI and then we see uh, what, what else should we include before we uh, key in all the details. Yeah, it's, it's almost thanks for the help as well. Yeah. <laughs> for this. All right, right. That's fantastic. Okay, so Dr. Lim also focuses on um, assessment, but more on formative assessment. Yes, uh, it's formative assessment, correct. Formative assessment. Okay. Anyone else working on or focusing on assessment? If we are to put a section, special section on assessment, how many chapters do we think will be in there based on what we have right now? So Dr. Zul, Dr. Lim, Dr. Wafa tadi, assessment ke Dr. Wafa? Uh, tak, I'm on uh, apa to convert um, apa, diagnose, uh, diagnosis and treatment planning. So I uh, we produce an e-book. Yes, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, 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 so. okay. Uh, anyone else want to share? Not assessment, not practical skill. What about face-to-face -face lecture? How do you address content delivery? Anybody? Addressing content delivery. Dr. Mariani? Yes? Uh, yeah, so um, yeah, uh, uh, my chapter, because the it's an undergraduate uh, part of the uh, module, uh, part of the training module, uh, so uh, before this, we conducted face-to-face uh, -face, 
And then we need to uh, convert everything into online. Uh, yeah. Dalam the the this uh, the DET, there are the practical, there are the seminar, there are the uh, students um, uh, students uh, group work lah. So they presented in a video format. Okay. Um, mm, so it's more like a uh, during the seminar is a facilitated learning whereby the it's a uh, it promote interactive uh, session lah between the trainer and also the students. Okay. 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 So it's more of con- betul lah. Eh? Is it is it yeah. content delivery lah kan? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Content uh, delivery. Yeah. It's more. Uh, yeah. It's more of that lah. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Anyone else believe uh, that chapter? Uh, finish. Assalamualaikum. Betul Um, okay, my chapters uh, basically involved with the yeah content delivery and also uh, self-directed learning based on the um, uh, pre-works that the student needs to do before my lecture start. I think most of my um, article or my research is gearing towards that. Okay, that's perfect. So, ada kawan dah? Dua orang, Dr. Mariani, Dr. Arif. Content delivery, innovations in content delivery from single, uh, apa, one way, jadi dua hala, jadi tiga hala, empat hala, um, many different medium. Anybody else? Morning. Yes. Morning. Yeah. So, uh, Nusaima from Faculty of Pharmacy. Uh, so, not on lectures, but tutorial, online tutorial delivery, uh, because we use the student response system, Pear Deck. Uh, Uh, so the idea was basically to increase engagement and student participation during online face-to-face tutorials. Uh, so I'm not sure if it would fit, uh, but that's what we did. Mm. You, your special contribution to that section is the engagement part, perhaps? Or maybe yeah. with Dr. Uh, Arif, Dr. Mariani, you, you, you want to have a common, in, in your graphical abstract model, nanti, you have a common... Uh, component which is the student engagement so how you know it doesn't okay I I, I have tried this last year and I have received a graphic some graphical abstracts where they have three components of the graphical abstract which represents the three chapter kalau boleh tak nak macam tu eh if possible if you can you know adun balik masak balik and become um uh uh A, a single um, take home message where you have the components and then the mm. the chapters will 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 represent those components as a whole some chapters may have only may have addressed only two some chapters may have addressed the other three you know boleh tapi you know um, yeah i think i think you can bring that to the table la mm-hmm. okay so anyone Um, else working on content, innovation in content delivery. Uh, Dr. Azza, can I maybe ask for your advice, really? So mine is on innovation, but it's on um, virtual consultation. Mm-hmm. So I don't know whether it runs under skills, practical, or is it under content you know, innovation? So basically, our project is on um, looking at how we would uh, develop the training module for virtual consultation through the Entrustable Professional Activities Framework or, or competencies. So that's the essence of our project. So um, we'll also look at challenges in virtual consultation during the pandemic, you know, and then how we should be doing or looking into avenues to train our students. Mm-hmm. And that could be done maybe properly through a um, conceptualization of the training module through Entrustable Professional Activities okay, Curriculum. Then yeah. it's a module development in order to, in order to help students uh, yeah. build their consultation skills. Yeah, virtual consultation. But before that, actually, uh, Dr. Azar, we are looking at um, how we will look into competencies, gathering the and also the uh, and trustable professional activity. Basically, the competencies, but how we to generate the competencies in order to. Um, Uh, develop a module for virtual consultation so it's 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 a uh, it's a balance between looking at the competency and looking at the module development in order to build that competency 
it's like um because not, at the current moment we do not have any proper competencies you know available um for virtual consultation module so what we are looking at you know is to um, together from all stakeholders, what are the competencies um, that are suitable for undergraduate medical students in their um, training in oh. virtual consultation? Yeah, so it's about innovation in looking into what is the framework, the competency framework that is suitable for module development in virtual consultation. Okay, it's quite a unique um, <laughs> look, <laughs> uh, yeah, a unique lens looking at a specific um, it's still a skill, right? Virtual consultant yes. is still yeah. a skill. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not hands-on skill. Lah. Uh, yeah, so it, it, because, yeah, you know, uh, yeah. That fills that mm. skill. yeah, yeah. We are bring, bringing in from face-to-face -face consultation where, you know, the mm -hmm. uh, patient-doctor interaction in the physical uh, mm -hmm. phase into a virtual uh, mm -hmm. phase. So how are we to train the students, you know? Um, same skill yet, similar yet different. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm. Yeah, okay. So, um, did did we hear earlier someone talk about cognitive skills, like decision making skills? Yes, that's that's, that's, me. that's, that's right. Ah, Thanks. okay. That's Maybe that. you guys can can form a section together. Yes. Anyone else? Anyone else that? Wafa. Wafa. Okay. Okay. There you go. We have a few. Um, I haven't heard from. Let's see who I haven't heard from. Heard from. I haven't heard from Dr. Akma, belum kan? Yes, yes. I'm um, sorry. Hi, Dr. Yes, Dr. Akma, yes. Okay, I think my chapter would fit into the delivery um, chapter because what we did is we attempted to design a pedagogical approach for online delivery of our module. So it, we, we actually, the delivery um, method is one of the Thing that we assess in our rubric so I think but it can be overall categorized in that because we overall um, assess the content design the pedagogical approach the visual design and navigation so I think overall it can fit into the delivery chapter okay okay so um, we hear we are hearing delivery and assessment skills and cognitive so there's these four domains they may not be same on the same spectrum, you know, uh, delivery and assessment is another spectrum. Um, cognitive and skills and content delivery, pun another. So, content delivery, cognitive skill, and hands on skill. So, I'm, so I'm, I'm getting five themes right now. Uh, does anyone from the participants list that believe that they are... Okay, let me just uh, open a my robot. Hang on, yeah. That, that doesn't fit into this five. Yeah, yeah. I'm opening a my robot so that we can all... How uh, Dr. Azhar, sorry yes. for disturbing you. Yep, okay, yeah. um, uh, sorry, may I discuss about my chapter? Sure, sure, sure. Uh, my chapter is on the digital learning resources. I do not know whether it should fit the content or it should be fit on others. Mm, okay, okay. Uh -huh. so, tell, tell us more about your... Okay, uh, I'll try to identify the digital learning resources for the quantity surveying program whereby for every sub, uh, course subject, uh, we are trying to figure out what is the, the types of digital learning resources that are being used by the students in this program. So uh -huh. we, uh, we, uh, we develop a framework. Yeah. Okay, and that framework, uh, from that from framework, it can see, you, uh, I mean, the, the, the students and the lecturer can see which is the most uh, practical digital learning resources that uh, that that is suitable for 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 core subject. Dr. Umi yang dapat gold award hari tu kan? Ah ha ya. Ni ata ni. Okey. Alamak tapi malu. Macam mana Dr. Azza yang tu digital learning resource I do not know which one I I I, I fit pada which category. Mm -hmm. Ha? Okay. Dia macam lain sikit kan? Dia macam 
it's it's to it's a it's a stage it's a stage it's about platform before you get so it's, it's part of delivery i guess ah uh-huh. like could be uh-huh. betul tak Uh, there could be a, there, I do not know whether it is a delivery because oh, delivery tu uh, the more towards on the uh, cost delivery kan but this one is more towards like macam uh, uh, things that can be used uh, and uh, apa tu from that framework I actually boleh identify that oh ada certain uh, uh, website atau certain uh, tools yang student uh, can utilize more yeah mm-hmm. I, I still believe it's delivery because uh. there could be not assessment Uh, so is it macam is, uh, platform untuk menyokong delivery betul uh, i think so yes <laughs> betul kan okay. betul okay alright uh, so we we come across the word platform uh, uh-huh. with dr umi anyone else working on platforms a method not the delivery itself not okay. the azah uh, mesti nah yeah website kan ha uh, saya mysur kan Ha, Maiso tu saya rasa saya lebih pada reka bentuk Mereka uh, pada Itulah susah saya nak, nak guide macam mana untuk masuk ke <laughs> Dalam semua yang term yang Dr. Azaz sebut tadi kan ah. eh, Jadi so, saya, saya, punya, saya lebih pada reka bentuk Mereka bentuk satu medium untuk pengajaran dalam hadapi ini ya, Cabaran dalam uh, on, pengajaran online ni kan uh-uh. Di dalam tu saya gunakan lumil, uh, saya, saya apply kan lima-lima khasa yang Edi tu, mula dah analisis pergi ke reka bentuk pergi ke pada mana sampailah ke penilaian tu kan. Jadi dia dia masuk dalam dalam bagaimana? Mungkin uh, delivery atau? Ah, uh, Dr. Mama Husin, Dr. Umi, dia macam dia macam uh, program bukan pro, dia bukan program level, but dia macam platform background black Back, background platform untuk uh, all this ya yeah, ya yeah. kan betul dia macam okey so um, i can't find a word for that yet yeah? <laughs> tapi uh, that is the nature of your work dia punya learning platform shall we dia macam ala-ala dia kawan-kawan dengan spectrum dia kawan-kawan yeah, yeah. dengan um plus tone process platform okey ya okey jap ya saya saya cuba copy dekat chat okey ada lagi tak yang uh, working on platforms chat okey i'm i'm putting morning dr azza yeah dr kenny are you hey. on platform as well uh, okey my uh, morning my my Uh, my writing is about platform as well, but it is more of an evaluative of my own teaching and also impact to the students' learning experience. So I, it's a two-way kind of research where I uh, get the feedback from the student regarding uh, my teaching and my approaches. At the same time, also, I uh, compare with the, my perspective uh, with two other lecturers teaching the same course. So eventually, uh, the outcome of the writing is for some suggestions for me to look at and concentrate at uh, as for the next semester and coming semesters for my teaching. Yeah, so this is the idea. Okay, so it's a platform in nature, but it is geared towards um, feedback. Yes. To, to do... Um, CQI or quality improvement or to do modifications of your next class. Correct. 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 Yeah, yeah, correct. But your innovation is the platform itself, correct? Yeah, yeah. We will we will just consider different type of approaches and see the impact on the students' uh, learning experience. Okay. Mm, does it fit into assessment? No, right? Because it's the, it, it's not to assess the students. It's to assess you. Yes, yes. So it's about your reflective practice. Yeah. Getting input in order for you to get that reflective practice for yourself, for your own teaching and improvement. So CQI. Anyone else working on the same field like Dr. Kenny? Kalau tak ada, we'll find a, where it will fit. Maybe it's still a platform, but platform not for delivery, not for student. Mm. So it's, it's still a platform mm. But 
instead of a uh, platform from the lecturer to put things resources for the students to learn yeah a platform from the students to you yeah correct yeah correct. But still a platform yeah the the hala dia tu terbalik ah uh, yeah yeah ah yeah. uh, yeah. okay okay let's let's um hold on to that i think it's a platform kind of thing um anyone else pun sama platform tema platform platform Okay, let's uh, go to the my. Okay, I have a, I have put in my the Miro box. I hope it's working. I'm also experimenting. Ah, uh, anyone with the link? Can you click on the on the link I shared on chat? If you can open, what that will be. Can you open tak? Boleh, boleh. Saya guna email UM masuk. Okay. Gmail. Okay, I can see that. Okay, tak, boleh. Okay. So, you can see... Uh, okay, let's start. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I can see people coming in. All right. Um, this is a template. I just picked a template from, <laughs> from the options earlier. Um, I see three people in, five. Okay, so let's, let's just uh, treat the boxes as your, your um, team. So just delete your perkataan perkataan because there was a template. So I'm going to I'm going to go to the smaller light blue box and I'm going to put the delivery. Okay. I'm going to go to the word reverse the problem. I'm going to delete that reverse the problem and I'm going to look at skill uh, hands on skill De deliver uh, not de delivery lah delivery or development So if you feel that your chapter falls into that, go to the sticky note. I don't have the sticky note kat situ. Is there a sticky note, please? The sticky note dia. Where's the sticky note? Ah, sticky note. And pick a color, suka tika lah apa, and then tampal je kat satu. Satu. Okay, um, what was the other theme that we had earlier? Um, okay, I hope this is not too confusing for us. The box is moving. Someone is moving the box. Okay, um, I'm going. I'm I'm at the collect ideas now. I think we have actually gone through all this process. I'm gonna put the uh, cognitive. Skill development. Sebab content delivery, I letak delivery tu, I letak content delivery. Eh. I'm going back, content delivery. And then the yellow box is, so you can use this for your class, myro, M-I-R-O dot com and then explore lah before ni, nak semester nak start ni lagi tiga minggu. Um, uh, Dr. Izian semua tadi apa tadi? Bukan Dr. Umi yang platform tak boleh letak platform dulu uh, Assessment, saya uh, uh, Dr. Azah you. macam dia yeah. nak assess cognitive competency through online platform Okay uh, So macam mana tu saya boleh masuk dalam cognitive Ataupun assessment. Assessment. Then you go to assessment. Alright, alright. Delivery tu, uh, the the giving out. Yeah. But of course, you make the giving out to become instead of one way becomes two way. Jadi tengah sink. On my side, it's sinking. Yeah. Hi, 
Hai, hey, is it me or memang dah lari dia punya tu? Dia macam, uh, I'm getting a message thinking, please wait. Oh. I rasa dia macam banyak sangat, <laughs> banyak sangat orang masuk terkejut. Receiving a response from the server. Atang tu semua dah, dah lari dah. Oh, I know. I'm also waiting. There you go. It's back up. Okay, let's let's give it a, a break. Uh, I think the my road. Suddenly, so many people come in there. Yeah. Okay, you can put your team if it's not there yet. We have the assessment. We have the platform. So cognitive skill development, practical skills development. Cognitive tu termasuk uh, communication, betul kan? And then hands-on tadi, is a practical slash hands-on skill development and then content delivery. Those are the video, lecture, seminar that you have. And then we have the assessment part. Um, and then the platform part. So six eh, so far. Oh, about Dr. Sofian? Dr. Sofian? Okay. I just want to talk. Yes. I haven't shared uh -huh. our chapter yet. Yes, yes. Okay, Assalamualaikum and good morning everyone. Good morning. Thank you, Dr. Azhar. Uh, I think our chapter fit to content delivery, but but let let me share first. We, we uh, develop a mobile app. Uh, some content we put into mobile app through game theory approach. So mm -hmm. it is kind of a learning aid to help lecturers uh, share their content with students. So okay. I guess content delivery team, okay. right? Dia macam the line content delivery dengan uh, platform. platform yang Mysore, Dr. Umi tadi tu. Yes, yes. Yang borderline kan? So in terms of uh, chapter content, mm. first we discuss mobile app platform mm -mm. for uh, digital learning. Mm -mm. I rasa And you belong dengan group. Platform. Platform lah sebab your innovation is in the platform development, betul tak? Mm. Kan we explore ada macam mobile app platform. Interactive, mesti ada juga eh. Yes, we provide exercise, tutorial, uh, some kind of Uh, game mm -mm. for them to uh, I, I experience. I'm more inclined for because of the gamification bit. I'm more inclined for it to be. Is it about? But the, but but in this book cha chapter, we haven't discussed more on the gamif gamification part. Oh, you haven't discussed uh, on the gamification part. Okay. Just just some kind of uh, introduction to mobile app platform uh -uh. for digital learning. Platform lah, Dr. Sufian. Okay. I don't know. Uh, okay, you please join uh, both group, tengok dulu and then you decide by the end of this workshop, decide which group you feel oh, more okay, okay, sure. thing. Eh? Uh, oh, thank you. Okay. That's, that's why we have a workshop. We, we, we talk to each other. Um, anyone else? Want to share? On my side, it's still thinking. <laughs> Dia kata uh, receiving too much response. But yeah, I, I can see some of us. Um, Dr. Azhar. Yes? Susanna here. Uh, Susanna. Hi, Susanna uh, my yes. chapter of book is about uh, the, look at the experience of students involved in design-based learning, the online design-based learning. Involved in what, Dr. Susana? Uh, online design based learning. Tak, tak dengar, Dr. Azhar. Uh, sorry, sorry, tolong repeat. Uh, and this, the experience of student uh, on online design based learning. Online design based, okay. Yeah, okay. okay. I remember your presentation. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, design based learning, tapi macam mana nak buat design based learning tu online? Uh, online. Yeah, okay. Uh, 
tapi tak tak guna spesifik tu it's up to student lah dia nak guna apa-apa sebab before this is uh, like only they produce the prototype you uh-huh. macam guna ah uh, ingat, uh, ingat barang-barang kan but bila online tu dia dia up to student lah kalau dia pandai uh, apps ke tools kan dia boleh apply saya rasa your your saya rasalah a uh, group delivery content uh, delivery uh, content delivery okey right ha uh-huh. sebab dia Uh, is it the content delivery ke cognitive skill delivery? Dia bukan cognitive skill. Content eh? Sama ada kon- sebab you are looking at the content kan? You are uh, looking at their judgement, uh, communication bukan kan? Macam yeah. dia orang boleh design, dia orang nak come up with a design kan? Yeah, yes. Design design uh, theory, design tools. Uh. Kan? I rasa lah, I rasa content but I go into the group content dulu tengok macam mana Okay, alright, thank you Alright Okay, Dr. Nash, how are you? Assalamualaikum, I'm, I'm good um, Just managed to join, sorry <laughs> yeah. uh, Dekat tempat sekolah tadi kan baru uh, baru baru settle tadi So I just managed to join okay. I'm quite lost actually because I didn't join since the beginning uh, Where are we at now? I also, uh, the spreadsheet that you sent to me, Linda sent to us, uh, I see there's a uh, red cells, which I'm also... Okay, my, okay, my, okay. okay. What okay. does it indicate? Pause, 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 Dr. Nash, kejap, pause. <laughs> okay. um, basically, I showed that link um, pukul sembilan lima minit lebih kurang tadi. Oh, okay. It shows the 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 collection of chapters that everyone have submitted. Alright. The red red ones are the number of pages that are too far from the mean. We expected about twenty pages, tapi uh, what we are getting, the punya average number of pages that we get is eighteen to nineteen pages. We okay. get people who submit eleven pages, thirteen pages, fifteen pages, and the other extreme we have people who submit thirty one pages, twenty eight pages. Oh, I see. Ah, uh, so I wanted to highlight these are the chapters. Bila kita dah compile, because when you submit, you didn't know what other people put in. Mm-hmm. Right? So I wanted to show that as a group, as a team of book authors, co-authors, we have twenty nine chapters. And uh, semua chapter ni kita dah go through editorially. Okay. Abstract, format semua okay. Tapi page number yang paling macam. Either uh, too low or either too many. Something like that. Yes. So we want right. to try to stick to an average range lah. So okay. right now the average is 18.8 to 18.9 gitu. Okay. So 18, 19 pages. So what I wanted to show early in the workshop earlier is that this is the state that we are right now. Okay. okay, so some of the uh, chapters have to reduce the number of pages. Some of the chapters have to increase the number of pages. But before I ask you to reduce or increase the number of pages, what I also want us to look at is uh, there are two objectives. First is to do sectioning of the book. Okay, um, I will repeat for the sake, not just for Dr. Nash, but also for those who came in late or didn't get it from the beginning. Eh? What we want to achieve by the end of this workshop is we want to achieve, we want to finalize the sections because right now all the chapters are coming in independently. So we we want to make it cohesive so that when people get the book and they go through the book, they get a sense of uh, flow and they get a sense of categorization. Okay, so uh, the first one is for us to get uh, the sections agreed doesn't matter the number of sections. If if it requires eight sections, eight sections it is. If it requires five sections only, five sections it is. Depends on the theme. So that's why right now we are uh, sharing what are the topics or the themes that are re- um, put forward by each author of the chapter. So we know other ta- chapter yang similar in nature. So after this discussion, about uh, about one hour, about one hour now, we get a sense that there are some of us who look at assessment, particularly chapter two pasal assessment. Oh, okay. Okay, ada yang uh, sud- melihat pada sudut hands-on skill, especially the clinical courses. How do you how do you teach clinical clinical skills like tracing, 
uh, I don't know uh, nama-nama uh, terms ni I, I takut salah the hands on skill some of some of us the chapters are about cognitive skill judgement asking questions consultation um making making um uh, uh, virtual consultation for example and then we found a, a group of chapters that talk about or that focuses on content delivery all this while is face to face lecture room base okay 14 weeks of lecturer give 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 so because of this uh, pandemic this digital challenge we get many ways of uh, doing content delivery innovatively from one satu hala jadi dua hala jadi tiga hala jadi different faces jadi different stages yeah and then we get a group of people who are working on uh, platforms like uh, Dr Muhammad Hussein created a website Dr Umi created a platform of resources they they, they study how what makes a good what what are the most uh, preferred and useful resources effective resources and they, they make a framework out of that so those are we we basically the last one hour was about um everyone sharing what their chapter is about and trying to find who their group who yeah. the section members are okay you can imagine uh, each section will have the same tema same theme and um two or three or five or seven of chapters inside that section so we are okay. trying to identify that that's why we have this workshop okay that's why we that's why i really wanted this to be actually uh face to face physical yeah. because it's a lot yeah. easier when we talk um face to face kan tapi memandangkan keadaan tidak yeah. tak, tak sesuai so we do it online so okay. we try to bear with each other lah all right so so that is uh, um if my group we did what we did was utilizing the h5p which section you think most you know example a little bit like uh, maybe two three sentence of your work and maybe we get um the participants by now i think participants pun dah dapat agak dah what are the team dr nash share about two three sentence of your work true okay my work is basically um trying to look at how students uh, perception after they undergo uh, synchronous and asynchronous teaching and learning using the H5P. Uh, if you want to know, H5P is the, uh, how to say it? Is, is it an apps? Uh, maybe we can call it as apps, I mean, uh, in our spectrum, which can assist us to make our teaching and learning more interactive. So we can embed quizzes, um, you know, link to the videos, um, what else? There's so many things like, that we can do uh, to make it more interactive and more engaged to the students. All right. So, yeah, it's basically what? the study is about. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Nash. Um, participants, anyone believe their chapter is same like Dr. Nash? Same tema, same section as Dr. Nash? Mm. Yes, Dr. Okay. Azhar. Yeah, there you go. Dr. Nash? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, Dr. Sharifah Huda, uh, I think you haven't shared your work. Yes. Okay. Um, I think uh, my chapters is under uh, content delivery, content delivery, same with uh, Dr. Nash, okay, because my topic, uh, it's about the content developments of teaching and learning for digital constructions uh, for quantity surveying program. So basically, we're trying to find uh, the methods, the content delivery, the assessment, assessments, the suitable assessments for QS students, okay, regarding uh, digital constructions uh, topic. Uh. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds like, yeah, very much in line with my topic then. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. You're so, muted. Uh, how, how many, how many chapters are there will be for under this section? Just two of us? Sorry, we haven't decided yet, Dr. Nash. Oh, yes. It depends okay. on uh, how many 
uh, chap how many authors beli sorry anak saya bangun nangis <laughs> it, sorry it depends on how many uh, chapter authors believe that they belong there okay. there's no specific number for each section And, uh, we haven't decided let's right, see cool. if there's a good balance if we if there's a good balance then we can we can agree on that okay it's it 10 11 a.m right now um i think we have brainstorm in i can't say enough but moderately enough um is there any chapter authors who still feel that they are they don't they they don't still cannot find rumah dia section dia ada tak hi hi dr taza siapa tu mardia ah dr mardia silakan Uh, okay, uh, my book chapter actually about um, uh, challenges uh, faced by the quantity surveying students in completing their dissertation. Okay. Research, yeah? Ah, uh, yes, correct. So my <laughs> chapter ni suitable about the research. Correct. Ah, ada tak siapa-siapa lagi buat research tema-tema research research? Anyone else in the participants? Huh? Uh, Dr. Azhar, do you yep. think mine should fall under research because mine is more of you know looking into um, ways to find competencies for virtual consultation because uh, looking at your um, the, the, the chart earlier I do not know which which house should I be placing <laughs> myself in Okay, so we have this. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, okay. But Dr. Christina, yours is not <laughs> teaching. <laughs> Dr. Arif, yeah? Okay, Dr. Arif, just switch on the uh, microphone. Yeah, sorry, Dr. Arif. My... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, Christina, go, go ahead. Oh, okay, right, uh, Dr. Azhar. So, so mine, mine is more about talking about, you know, ways to uh, look at um, the competencies, how, how we, we are to churn the competencies, you know, from uh, stakeholders in order to develop a module for virtual consultation. So it's essentially uh, stemmed from a research idea. Honestly, so um, again, it's also about the, at the end of the day, it's about delivering, you know, about training of students, about delivering a module for training of students in virtual consultation. So that's the essence. But I, I wouldn't say it's cognitive, also, you know, Dr. Aza, because uh, most of the skills that has been delivered is actually hands-on skill because it talks about history taking skills, you know, phys observation of physical examination skills. So it's 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 skill based, but it's on virtual platform. Uh, so that's the challenge. But I don't know where I would house it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why we have this workshop. Um, yeah, uh, we will find sub chapters that uh, <laughs> very hard to find the house. Um, awesome. From first instinct, it's more. It's a development. Can does do you think you mm. fit into the platform group? platform framework tak eh mm mungkin juga so i'm like framework um hands on skill uh, i won't say too much of cognitive but you know hands on yeah. but virtual hands on mm. Mm. Uh, how many how many else is developing modules uh i remember that wafa do a book kan but um does that dr wafa dengan dr christina uh -huh. buku buat ebook. You buat ebook kan? Hmm. And the ebook is to teach. Uh yes, yeah, so as a reference books and also they use then we use it in uh, CBL lah. Mm -hmm. uh, case based. So it's a compilation of clinical cases mm -hmm. with the different approach of treatment. So from there, they they will apa uh, read the books and also apa uh, look at the cases and what are the different ways in managing. Mm -mm. Even though it's the same case, but then they're under the same diagnosis lah. One diagnosis, but uh, you know, in different patients, different situations, and different severity. Okay. And different approach, and they use it as a reference book. 
and uh, juga to use is one of the uh, reference material lah for their CBL ke something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, Dr. Christina uh, doesn't match eh? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's let's put it this way. Um, I think we have uh brainstorm enough on some clear cut cases we can categorize already by now, but we still have a few um borderline or iffy cases where we don't know yet where to go. Okay, let's let's summarize what we have so far. Yeah, uh, don't panic if you're you're not you haven't been found a house yet. So we have the content delivery. We have the uh, I'm I'm referring to the Myro link, Doctor Nash or whoever just came in. There's a link on the chat section. Okay, where you have Myro, Myro bot, Myro.com. So we have the content delivery, we have the hands-on skill delivery or development, cognitive skill development, we have assessment. So, so the first three, blue, content delivery, hands-on skill delivery or development and cognitive skill development, those are the delivery lah. Okay. Um, sorry, Dr. Azhar. Yeah. Uh, Myro tu yang mana? Uh, My I open is Google document, shared document. Sekejap, sekejap. Spreadsheet. Uh, I copy paste again. Yeah, thanks, Doc. Uh, Dr. Nesh masuk lambat, dia tak keluar kot. Okay, I'm, I'm reposting. Okay, can you see now? Uh, uh, yeah, I see the link now. I already click it. Okay. So you can see there are five boxes there. I'm just using a template, an existing template. And then we have platform, uh, meaning platform development for Dr. Kenny belongs here, Dr. Kenny kan? Dr. Umi, Dr. Muhammad Hussein. Right, and then we have the assessment and then uh, the, 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 the delivery in terms of content, hands-on skill and cognitive skill. Dr. Christina still haven't found your house but you can sit in maybe you choose two houses to 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 survey dulu and then yeah, I'm in, housemates potential I'm in between <laughs> and the person yeah. Right. yeah right so Taza I follow Dr Umi right uh, yeah the, the okay. platform okay. Right? okay I follow Dr Umi yeah right okay platform all right uh, may I request the secretariat to open a breakout room based on this five did I miss any other themes that we have discussed? Which house should I join, Dr. Azhar? Dr. Mar, uh, <laughs> tak ada rumah ke sian? Um, pilih, pilih satu dulu, satu atau dua. So you go, you have to go... Um, Survey rumah dulu macam orang nak beli rumah kan Dia beli dia baru tengok-tengok Maybe you identify two or three And then talk to the people inside, hmm. inside. Boleh tak macam tu I request the Because I can't give you an answer um, I think it's best if you talk to the potential housemates dulu um, Can I request secretariat to create breakout room And we can go in and out of the room Dr. Azhar, can you give me name of the rooms because I cannot get into the micro... Oh, my I my row too. Okay, sekejap. Let me type it in here. Delivery. Okay, content delivery. Second one is practical skills. Oh, I think I remember... Uh, okay, that's too cognitive. Don't worry if uh, rumah tu tak ada pengguni eh. You just tutup je rumah tu. Don't worry. Cognitive skills delivery. I remember we talk about program level. Program level innovation of um, 
open focusing on delivery and then we have the platform window boleh nampak eh platform development so platform development ni and then uh, assessment assessment <coughs> so I I'm sure most of us even if you're doing content delivery or skills we have the assessment component but when I say the rumah is assessment punya rumah memang you are looking at assessment okay so your innovation in terms of is is about doing how to do assessment correctly Okay, or options, optional ways to do assessment. So assessment, I'll put that as number six. Um, platform assessment, cognitive skill, content delivery. Okay, I think I've got six. Okay, so number one tadi content delivery. Eh? Um, Dr. Azad, sekejap, sorry. Uh, so, my would be content delivery. I'm still studying how to use this Miro actually. Uh, what should I do, Dr. Okay, we are waiting for the secretariat, I believe Linda, uh -huh. to open the breakout rooms. Okay. And if you feel that you belong there, you go inside the breakout room and talk to the people inside. If you don't think after talking to your potential housemate, you rasa macam tak serasi, you can... Uh, um, go to go another, and go to another All right. platform. Okay, I see. Now from my row punya side ni, what I see, there's a lot of boxes here with, you know, um, cognitive skills development assessment, and yep. some skill delivery. So these are the houses that you mentioned, is it? Yes, yes. Okay. I see the cognitive skill development tu mungkin tak berapa ramai duduk situ and I see content delivery tu macam ramai. Okay, but it's okay. Uh, we are not saying um, which house is irrelevant or which house is. Yeah. What you can do if you have, if you don't know yet, you go to the uh, arrow yang ke bawah tu, dua arrow cik cik macam. Dia dua arrow cik cik. And then you can see a uh, sticky note. Gambar sticky note. Click on the sticky note. Choose a color you like. And bring to the house and write your name or your chapter. Oh. All right. Okay. Uh, sticky note. I found the sticky note. So I just paste anywhere that I feel that it's suitable. Uh, with me lah, kan? Okay. So you bring you bring the sticky note to where you believe your chapter okay. belongs, so that we can somehow visualize the number of um house member. I think it's content delivery, right? Content For you, I think delivery. yes. Because asynchronous. Synchronous and use, okay. using H5P to improve. Okay. To this is I think it's content the delivery. The Miro is just a brainstorming tool for us. Hmm. Um, in the end, we don't finalize with this. Okay, this is for us to somehow visualize. Kacak-kacak pun pening, kan? Um, we are waiting for the breakout room. Tazah, I nak buka breakout room but then tadi I ask what's the name of the room so um, uh, Dekat dekat chat, dekat chat Linda Tak, tak ada Ha huh, tak keluar Did you send to in someone else? Eh? Okay. Uh, from me to everyone Um, Ada content delivery, number dua practical skills, tak keluar eh? Uh, you guys can you see it? Yes, yes, I, can oh, see. I can see. I can see all the boxes with sticky notes. Ah oh, no, no, I'm saying the chat section. Oh, the chat. Yes. chat section. I put number one content delivery. Number two practical skills delivery. Number three cognitive skills delivery. Ni dah nampak ke? Dah dah nampak dah. Okay. Number empat program level innovation. Maybe in terms of delivery lah program level. Number five platform development. Number six assessment. Okay, so once the rooms are open, uh, feel free to walk in the room 
um, just to confirm that you belong there. If you don't feel comfortable, you don't feel you fit in there, you can um, keluar sekejap, go to the other houses, uh, I mean rooms. Um, let's give it about 15 minutes by 10.40. Now it's 10.26. By 10.40, we hope to have, uh, okay, you can see the breakout room now at the bottom of the bar. Okay, click join a breakout room. And then um, by 10.40, uh, I'll ask if you guys are okay. If sekali masuk je dia nampak dah, you can start working on objective number two, which is your um, graphical abstract. Okay, so someone needs to brief Dr. Nash or whoever just came in, what the graphical abstract is all about. I will let you go to the breakout rooms right now and I'll see you at 10.40. Is that okay? Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah, sure. Okay. I'll come in and out um, of the rooms just to check. Where on. is the link again? You say at the bottom, a chat box. Huh? Uh, can you see the, uh, can you see uh, mute, stop video, okay. participants, chat, share screen and then breakout room. Okay, okay, I see. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, so, you click on the breakout room yeah. and then find uh, content delivery, practical skills delivery, cognitive skills delivery, program level innovation, platform development. Thank you, Dr. Azhar. Assessment. All right. See you. Yes, Dr. Sharifah Huda, are you okay? Uh, doctor, I don't see any breakout room lah. Right. Kat mana eh? Uh, okay, nampak tak? Uh, mute. Uh, nampak, start video, participants, chat, screen share, record and reactions. Oh, tak nampak breakout room? Uh -uh. Uh, pun boleh. You guna zoom. Kenapa boleh tak nampak eh? <laughs> or you can assign me into the room ke macam mana ke boleh tak? Minta Ferlinda ke tolong ke sebab. Dah ada. boleh cuba. Uh -uh. Uh, Miss Sharifah, uh, room mana? Uh, content delivery. Okay. Okay, ke Dr. Sharifah? Ya, tapi dia rasa putar sikit tak ya ya? Okay. All right, so um, this is an example of a compilation of all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chapters, uh, seven sections of the last year UM Lighter book. Okay, so uh, this book is currently under UM Press and they have uh, said they are uh, conditional acceptance. So we need to do some revision, um, but basically they have kind of accepted. Okay, we have not formal yet, not formal yet. So you can see, can you see uh, uh, one, multiple intelligence, two, interactive teaching, three, platform, okay, four, CBL, meaning uh, I think it was Community-based learning Community-based learning. And then we have PBL, project-based learning. And we have gamification. And then uh, assessment, personalized assessment. So this was a book, uh, uh, the title of the book is Personalized Learning. This was the theme of the previous year, UM Lighter. All right. So this is a compilation of seven sections of graphical abstract. So basically, each section addresses uh, this one, uh, I think, two chapters. This one, four chapters. This one, uh, I think, ada berapa? Three chapters kot. Macam tu. So, it, got, it, it is more um, varied in nature. So, we have a smaller number of chapter with many more sections for that group, for that uh, book. Yeah. So, in the end, after you have submitted your graphical abstract to us, this is what we will compile. And we, myself, came up with this 
bigger model, a bigger picture model that puts in uh, that puts uh, the 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 many graphical abstract, the many framework into one big framework, which is delivery consideration, delivery plus assessment consideration, and the assessment consideration. So this was uh, don't compare apple to apple. Just an an example, so you can see each chap uh, each section they have uh let's say this cbl okay they have five points or five five uh consideration of five um main um main points lah basically so all the chapters that fall into cbl they have this they share these common ones not necessarily every chapter has every component but as a whole they can make it uh, as that and problem based learning and also gamification. So gamification is three chapters, right? So basically, um, each section, each of your group is trying to come up with one of these. Right now, it may still seem far from this single um, picture because this single picture is already after many um, revisions. Not many, many, but after um, our illustrator try to develop and um, maybe that section has three pictures or three three bulatan but we only take the main bulatan so that's why it looks very simple but when you go to the each i don't have because epa is on leave right now so i don't have access to the main each section punya punya graphical abstract so it can be for example uh, the pbl it can be this plus a few plus two more um diagram or the personal assessment is actually four four or three diagrams one circle one arrow 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 but uh, when we put into this it's just this one lah okay so this is it's an oversimplified version so that it fits into one one page but uh yeah just to give you an idea of how it will end up looking like at the end. So don't panic. Um, what you are concerned about are what are the contents of this? Okay, what are the contents, the little contents here? So PL platform, in the end, they cuma dua je. Di sebenarnya ada lagi. That the, the, the sub sub one, that will, the sub, the sub parts will go into, will, will still appear in the main section graphical abstract but when it comes here it, go, it goes very um, small and simplified can i get some questions or some feedback if you're okay if you are overwhelmed i'm sorry i have to show you the the final final version of the whole thing it's it it looks a bit too much but just focus on this one bit for your section just this one bit and look at look at one two three four five what is it okay so for pbl maybe you have four components one two three four components sebenarnya gamification perhaps just three components one two three components and then the overlapping all right so right now you are still very um early early stage you're still getting to know each chapter and finding the so you may need more time to come up with the graphical abstract if you'd like to um, make it oversimplified. Uh, we can help you to simplify it more, lah. All right? So um, I'm going to open for question or comments. Ada tak? Um, not for me. I mean, uh, we have to start. Somewhere, lah. honestly, memang I don't know where to start. <laughs> I mean, okay. not me lah. All of us are from my section. I believe all of us are, you know, okay. not sure how to start to do it. But you know, we just you know scrabble here and there first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brainstorm dulu. Yeah. Can I can I give you a a tip on how to start? Yeah. Yes, that would be lovely. Okay. So, if you have your topic already, which is content delivery, for example, kan? Oh, Dr. Nash punya apa tadi? Content delivery lah, kan? No, uh, program... A program in level innovation. Program innovation, yes. Okay. What are the main consideration 
if someone is to adopt program level in so okay let's say covid 2023 pula datang ataupun uh, I don't know gempa bumi ke I don't know whatever the disaster so we have another digital challenge coming in that may not be similar like us and uh, your program is doing program level innovation what are the main consideration that you would advise to that person or that 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 leader or that that person in charge what would that con main consideration that you would ask them to think about so let's say four okay. yeah. can you name these four challenges uh, interactive uh, student, student, student engagement is that what something like that yes okay. yes how to, how to keep the students focus yeah and then so uh, if, if the, yeah. yeah so it's kind of like a uh, what's that focus group thing after focus group you have that stage uh, find it i can't find the term where you 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 put together the similar con the similar oh my god i can i can't remember thematic analysis huh? thematic analysis thank you so much dr kenny yes <laughs> <laughs> the black jam jam after two hours that jam uh thematic okay so thematically you can yeah uh, let's say engagement focus interaction semua sama so what are the second one population target population uh needs for example learning needs for example yeah. and then uh maybe the third one maybe uh qualification requirement for example another team completely different and the fourth one perhaps uh timing timing and duration maybe these are the four i'm just throwing idea eh? yeah, yeah. so thematically they are different so you can group them so um and then you take your your own chapter yang kata ada lima chapter from each chapter uh, each author of uh, each chapter can so see if any of this chapter can fit into any of these four maybe double maybe three points if yes then your team are uh, lengkap lah oh, okay right. ah so uh, what are the considerations that if someone is to adopt delivery innovation innovation in terms of delivery what are the considerations that you will want to tell them if someone is to adopt a uh, platform development what are the considerations that you would want to advice to them uh, ease of access for example free jangan ada bayar bayar oh, uh, apa tu lagi uh, easiness friend user friendliness what are the considerations that you would bring but they are different thematic analysis thematically they are different and then you take your chapter tengok uh, mungkin chapter a satisfy one and two chapter b satisfy three and two chapter four satisfy one three and five then ah, okay lah cukup lah tema tu okay uh, yeah. uh, okay you can try that way Men meningkat sikit lah bro dia punya pemahaman <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay yeah. but yeah, yeah. Still, yeah. still you know digesting all the information yes yes you, yes, you yes. Right? yes uh, but uh, it, it takes practice okay, nice lah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, thanks, it takes bro. it takes practice. It takes yeah. practice. Yeah. yeah, learning by doing. Okay, do you guys need a break? Um, Seven eleven oh seven. Yes. Yes, please. please. Okay, let's take a break. Um, before we go to break, um, do we feel that the group members are kind of okay? I mean, ada lagi tak any one of you who feel that they don't belong and they want to try still uh, house shopping still? Me. Dr. Mar, eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. In that case, I will assign Dr. Mar then. Let me see. Let me help you. Um, jap. Okay. Stop sharing. Okay, let me stop sharing. Let me see the breakout room. Assessment. Okay, we are going to close cognitive skills delivery. Eh? Rumah tu tak ada penghuni. There's no, no, no one in there. So we're going to delete. We're going to just um, banish that, uh, that room. Cognitive skills delivery. No one's there. Practical skills delivery and content delivery okay dr mar i think i will still put you in content delivery is that okay dr mar 
and your chapter will appear. Okay. Yeah. So I think uh, yang lain tu lagi jauh kot. We still have a few who are not here with us. There are 27. 27. Meaning there are a few more not here with us. So I'm expecting um, a few authors who will expect me to um, sama ada dia tak submit langsung ataupun I will have to assign lah. So if you if you get a message from the secretariat that uh, Dr. Azar or as the editor has assigned uh, Dr. Say Dr. Chan for example to uh, program them or maybe uh, so don't, don't be surprised and um, please try to be open minded about it yeah so some of us are not able to make it here okay so yeah let's take a break um i would like uh can we tr can we somehow finalize the groups maybe uh, just type on the chat section your section section name and the section members so that uh, we have it for our record is that okay before you go for break We'll go for break until is is eleven twenty eleven twenty eleven twenty five okay? Yeah, sure, Doctor. All right, eleven eleven twenty five lah. Let's 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 give you a bit more time. Eleven twenty five. We get back here. Mm -hmm. Um, basically, what we will do after eleven twenty five is just to go to the breakout room and uh work on your graphical abstract. Okay. Basically, we have one content delivery section, one practical skills delivery section, so that's two. We have program level innovation section, three, platform development section, four, and then assessment section, five. Okay, so we have five sections all together right now, and uh, most sections are four chapters for now. Assessment ada dua chapter sahaja. Um, practical skills three because Dr. Mar is going to content delivery. And uh, content delivery is the most. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight in content delivery. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. All right. Um, I'll see you at 10.25. Before you leave, uh, try to put your section name and your group member's name for our record there, yeah? All right, I'll see you guys at 11.25. So the chapters. Okay, I've created a column H here. And uh, find your name, your chapter, and write down the section number here so we can identify uh, those chapters who are still not yet in okay we try to do this in uh, in a very short while it's eleven twenty six now already okay so the sections are referring on your chat section we have identified five sections earlier So I will stop sharing now and look at my last uh, content. Section one, content delivery. Um, someone needs to help list the member. Section two, practical skills delivery. Dr. Eunice, Dr. Christina. I thought there were more, but never mind. Section three, program level innovation. Dr. Nash, Dr. Sharifa, Dr. Weihan and Dr. Jess. Section four, platform development. Dr. Umi, Dr. Sufian and Dr. Hussein. Section 5 is on assessment. Dr. Izian, Dr. Lim and Dr. Zul. So we know who are not here and have not assigned their chapters. Taza. Yes. Taza, so like uh, the in the in the list, Excel's list there, the about chapter is like whether you are program level innovation or assessment, we, we put that, is it? 
Uh, you don't have to fill that up if you don't. Oh. That that was for brainstorming earlier. Ah, so okay, okay. Uh, if you want to okay. write, it's okay. It's a note for your friends to know which one you are. But if you mm. don't, ah, uh, tak tak payah pun tak apa. Okay, 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 thank you. What most important is I want to make sure that the section numbers are there for those who arrive, who who are here here in this group, in this session. So I can identify. Maybe I can identify Dr. Aida. Tak ada. So. Maybe okay. we need to assign Dr. Aida's chapter into any of the sections. Dr. Right. Sharifah Huda, Dr. Those who are not here lah. Okay. So this is what we do right now. So I can see section one. Okay. For those who just came in, we are at the. I'm going to share. Let me share my screen again. Let me share my screen again. Okay, uh, we do this quickly before you get back into your group. This is to confirm your section, your your section where where your chapter sits. Yeah, so um, I'm sharing this now. Okay, this is uh, you guys have access here. Remember, okay, just go to column H, go to your own chapter, and put in your section number. So the reference to the sections is in the chat section on the site. Um, section one is uh, content delivery, section two is practical skills delivery and the like until section five is assessment. Okay, so I'll wait for this to be filled up. Column H here, yeah, everybody. And Dr. Aza, I am not allowed uh, to actually edit this. Okay. It's, yeah. uh, it's okay, let me put it down for you. Which one are you? I am uh, Christina down at the bottom. Yeah. At the bottom. Yeah. Uh, there you go, 25. Yeah. So, number two. Number two. Okay. And practical skills. Thank you. All Dr. right. Dr. You're welcome. Anybody needs help? Okay, Hi, once Dr. you're Dr. done. I've... Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I also don't have access. Uh, number 18. Uh, Nusaiba. So, now, yeah. So, section one content delivery. Yeah, um, mine is 13. Thank you. So okay, you're welcome. What's up with you? Nash. Oh, Nash. Uh -huh. Sorry, I can't see you. I'm, when I'm sharing screen, I can see the, the, yeah. the Nash number wrap or the Nash? 13, section number 3. Okay. Number 13, section number 3. Okay. Thanks. Doc. Okay, once you're done, you can go to your breakout room and continue your discussion. We will uh, get back together at this room in, at 11.45. So, um, uh, then we, we decide on the next deadline or the next strategy. So, we don't have to stay till the whole day today. Yeah, right. Okay, so you can uh, work on your Dr. own. Azza, yep, yeah, I also that? need help for uh, Lim here. I also yeah, need Dr. help Lim. for the section number the view because uh, so my name... Um, Number 10. Number 10. Number 10, okay. Yeah, it's, I don't have the access. Yeah. Okay, sure, sure. I, uh, uh, five, five. Five. Section okay, five. Assessment, eh? Yep, thank you. You're welcome. Anyone else needs I, help? Okay, Daza. Yeah. Me also? What's up, Tu? Zukar 9, 25 or 6? 26, okay, I see. Okay, number 5, assessment. Five assessment, all right. All right, thank you. Dr. Azza, I pun tak boleh nak edit Number 24 Number 24 Okay Section 4 Section 4 There you go Okay, thank you You're welcome Dr. Azza Yes On behalf of number 23 Dr. Tengku Farhana Okay I think tadi you advised me to join platform kan? Section 2 Platform section Section Oh, tak tahu Platform Oh, eh sama dengan Dr. Umi. Ah, yes. Okay, four. Okay. All right. Do I go to the breakout room, is it? Yes, then you can go to the breakout room now. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Anyone else needs help? Dr. Azza. Hiya. Sharifah. Number three. Okay. And you are in section? Tak dengar, sorry. Three, Dr. <laughs> Anak saya menjerit kuat sangat Okay, section 3 Okay, there you go All Thank you Okay uh, Right, thanks So, the, the hood Okay Mudah eh? 
So silakan, uh, you can join your breakout room. I'll stop sharing right now. Okay, you can join your breakout room and continue your discussion on the on the graphical abstract. So as a thank you, as a summary, um, we have completed phase one of our workshop where we have reached two objectives. The first objective is the sectioning. So I understand it's a bit messy, but that's how it goes because we this is the first time we get together and try to um, put everything together. So thank you for your patience and your cooperation and your good spirit. Second one, we have also um, come up with a graphical abstract for each section. Okay, so uh, the deadline for the graphical abstract uh, draft is 5 p.m. today. Okay, um, this is to allow us, ADAC, to pass it to our illustrator so that she has time to uh, digest it and, and, and um, come up with a better version of it and pass it back to you whether it's okay or not and um, if require revision. Because we still have, yeah, bear in mind, we still have a few chapters, author who are not here. So I'm going to just assign them under the section that we have created. So um, don't be surprised if you have a sudden new member inside, but I hope you won't catch out too much of your 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 your, your, your group right now. Lah, eh? And then the second uh, deadline is the chapter revision deadline. This is for those who whose chapter does not meet the page requirement. 17. 18, 19, 20 pages. Between 17 pages to 20 pages. That's our range, including references. So if you are too short, you can increase. If you are too much, you can reduce. And uh, please use discussion today with your group member in order to um, finalize or jive it better with the section. All right. So I think that's all. Did I miss anything? No, yeah. So, can I request that we take a group photo and we will keep in touch through our WhatsApp group, yeah? Uh, Dr. Azhar. Uh, yes, yeah. Kalau I, sorry. Dr. Umi, yeah. Uh -huh. Kalau I tak discuss balik with my group, platform development, sebab I dah ter, 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 ter save yeah, the latest one. <laughs> Macam mana, yeah? Can we meet in, in the same platform atau pun kita orang kena contact atau ada email tak? Uh, you can uh, you can catch up with each other through our WhatsApp group. We have a WhatsApp group. All the right, big WhatsApp okay, group okay, okay. and then uh. find back. Cari baliklah kawan-kawan tu tadi. Uh, Alright, okay, uh, okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, PM tepi lah. PM tepi. Okay, okay. Okay, so ready for group photo? 